Have you ever asked yourself the question, what are the responsibilities of the restaurant owner? Like if you're a restaurant owner, aren't you supposed to work in the kitchen, make sure the product's right? Aren't you supposed to be on the floor touching every single table, seating guests, serving food? Aren't you supposed to go in the walk-in cooler, place the order? Aren't you supposed to take inventories? Aren't you supposed to market? Aren't you supposed to do all these things? Next thing you know, you're doing everything. And in fact, you're not doing anything great because you're chasing your tail, man. It's crisis management. Then you meet somebody like me and say, you need systems in place. You're like, how the hell am I gonna add anything more to my day? How can I get that done? And overall, how is it I get to a point where I, that phrase can actually become reality? And that is, how do I work on my business, not in it? How about I share that with you in just one second? Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters with TheRestaurantExpert.com and I, I gotta tell you, you're no different than any restaurant owner all over the world. US, Canada, all over the world. I literally work with hundreds of restaurant owners and geography doesn't matter. We all have the same challenges. What the hell am I supposed to do, right? I'm in the kitchen, I'm on the line, I'm front line helping, helping the servers, I'm helping the guests, I'm seating people, I'm managing my business. What else do you want me to do? Quite honestly, I wanna fire you. I want you working on your business not in your business. Do you understand the difference? I want you to do a couple things and here's what your job is as an owner. Number one, your job is to budget. Where should your numbers be for you to make money? For success, what does your plan look like? What we do is take your last 12 months and we say, what are your sales? What are your costs of goods sold, your labor? And we project the next 12 months. Then we put the plan together that says, hey man, if I implement this system and this system and this system, I can reduce my food cost. By Implementing this system, I can trim my labor costs incrementally, small, small changes, that by the time I get to the end of my year, I'm running at a 55% prime cost or under. Whatever it is, your job is to budget, create your plan for success, what systems you need to put in place to ensure you have a chance to make money, and then you need to measure that success. Take your budget and your P&L, put them side by side, see where you hit or missed, and see if you've missed a number what are your managers not doing? What do you need to re-implement? Make sure you hold people accountable, retrain. If they are doing it, what new systems you put in place? This way, if you've lost, say, $2,000 in profitability this month, you don't do it every single month going forward, and better yet, you change your plan over the next 11 months to make up that $2,000, to make the money you deserve without giving up guest satisfaction or cutting product quality. That's huge, you need to budget. You need to market. You need to get butts and seats, man. Your job is to fill this place so everybody makes money, including you. Happy guests, happy employees, you're making money. This is critical. So get out there and fill seats. I also need you to coach. You need to make sure that you're working with your management team. I don't want you taking inventories. I don't want you putting products into your system. I don't want you prepping. I don't want you seating guests. Now look, you can do some of that from time to time, but I don't want you scheduled. I don't want you as a scheduled manager. I want to have people do that. See, what I want to do is I want to have a system, a process, a way for everything that I do, that it's trainable, and that way I can coach you and help you be successful. Because the more successful an employee is, the more I can get done because now I'm getting to the point where I'm working on my business, not in it. So your job is to coach. Your job is to budget, market, coach. More importantly, your job is to lead. Your employees are looking to you to say, what direction are we going? How are we getting there? You're the leader. And look, I don't mean to be rude, but just because you own a restaurant doesn't make you a born leader and it takes leadership to be successful. And by following these three steps, budgeting, marketing, and coaching, it means you have systems in place for everything that you do in your business. They're trainable, they're coachable, and that means you become a leader in your business. What's your job? It's to be a leader. Now look. Do me a favor, subscribe to my YouTube channel right now if you'd like videos like this on a weekly basis. But I also want to know success stories. How have you become or changed, fired yourself, right, changed from being a manager on your floor to being a leader in your business? In the comment section, share with me some of your success stories, how you changed from working in your business to on your business. And before you go, I've got a special offer for you. I want you to click on that link in that upper corner. I want you to subscribe now, or I should say opt in now for my free report, the 10 lessons I've learned that any restaurant owner or manager must know to have any chance of making money. Make more money, get your life back, 
have managers know their job. This free report can literally be life-changing. But I also, again, make sure you subscribe now. And if you like videos like this, just wait one minute, well, really 20 seconds, and I'm going to share with you a list of other videos you can watch right now.